service that recovery platform that have filled the need for connection during that recovery time. So today we have two of the founders of this great platform and let's welcome to the show, Christina and Elena. How are you ladies? Good, thank you for having us. So exciting to hear everything about this platform. I just say a little bit, but let's get into it. Yeah. How and why do you create and come up with this idea? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm sober for three years from an addiction to alcohol. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's one of the, I always say it's the hardest thing I've ever overcome. And mm -hmm. often I'm found that there's a huge stigma around it, right? So yes. I share my story openly so that way other people don't feel that way. Mm -hmm. But when I got sober, it was really isolating. Um, I'm 34, I don't have kids. I still wanted to go out, right? I wanted yes. to, you know, have fun and parties, but I didn't want to be around the drinking culture. And it was really hard. So I just found like a sober meetup and that's where I met this pretty lady. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So can you share a little bit more how what that meetup back in the time? Yeah, absolutely. So we met, hit it off, uh -huh. became friends and realized that we resonated on so many ideas. Okay. Specifically a bigger, more inclusive space for people who are sober or mm -hmm. just don't enjoy drinking. Yeah. So now you both mentioned something very important, like when you go out, it's super hard to be away from activities that doesn't include alcohol and being sober is one of the things. So how do you help these people and the people that want to join this move movement with you? Yeah, perfect question. And that's exactly what we were finding is like we would meet up at coffee shops and like you can only drink so much coffee, right? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so, so I was like, you know, what else can we do? And so that's really, we just kept like meeting and talking mm -hmm. and then the idea for our company, Free Life, was born. So we do all kinds of different events. So this Thursday we have like a, the first um, non-alcoholic networking event. Yes. We're gonna have like yoga at the beach. I mean, so I it, that. yeah, I mean, it's got, it's basically like whatever you're into, like we want to provide the space. We always just say, whatever you do, just do it without alcohol, right? So we were just in the, in the mix of just trying to do as many different events as we can to provide a space for people to just come and find community. I know you say you say it right. We've seen some pictures right now. Yeah, uh, you ladies working, and I know you have yeah. a, also a Facebook group. Yeah, we have, have a lot of people following you. Now, one of your events, Elena, is gonna be at a brewing company. How do you manage that to be in a brewing place and not be tempted to to drink alcohol? Well, that was part of it. We yeah. realized that a lot of people, as they give up drinking, they feel they have to shrink their life and they exactly. have to cut corners and not be able to go places and that's when we realized we don't have to be there is no reason why we can't enjoy concerts and breweries and everything else that we normally enjoy just without drinking and mm -hmm. have just as much fun if not more and not have a hangover <laughs> afterwards <laughs> yeah well i love the idea actually because i think it's more education than other things, right? Yeah, exactly. And if I could add, it's yes. just nice to have, so we are building the community. We just went to an event the other day and I had a craving for a drink after three years, oh, right? Wow. Right, but pe but here's the thing, it's not a big deal, but she's my sober buddy, she's there with me, <laughs> and I can say, hey, I'm craving a drink, shared it with her and it was no big deal. Mm -hmm. So we want to create that so that way people getting sober don't mm -hmm. have to do it alone. And I think that's very important also to mention that because we as a friend and family, we think like we don't, we don't have anybody that is going to understand us exactly. when we're going through that process. Exactly. And you have a slogan that I really love, that addition is connection yeah. and your website. And how important is that message to share with the viewers? I mean, it's literally everything. I always selfishly say that I co-founded this company for myself because I needed connection. Like right. I mm -hmm. just, I didn't have sober friends. I'm a military spouse, so there's a big military drinking culture. So it was just really hard to find people to help me along that journey. And I believe mm -hmm. that if I'd had this, I'd yes. gotten sober earlier. So. Oh my gosh, I love that. Elena, where can people find you? The Facebook group, more information for viewers that are watching right sure. now. Instagram, Facebook, meetup group, website. Yes. And just DM us, find us yeah. on social media, DM us TikTok. Yeah, Free Life um, LLC. Yep. And when is the next event, really quick? Yeah, so we have, um, this Thursday, we have a mm -hmm. non-alcoholic networking event, and then we're doing yin yoga on the beach with Fathom Coffee in Virginia Beach on May 23rd. I love it. Yeah. We have right there the flyer we're seeing. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing. Congratulations to both of you for keeping sober. I'm gonna try to enjoy these ladies. I don't drink much, but you know, sometimes yeah. it's good. It's good to have that education as well. So now, ladies, do you think that a Quincy can qualify to be lifeguard? I don't think so, but we're gonna find out right after the break.